Want to dig through the Goodwill bins with us? I'm Michelle with Michelle's Romantic Tangle, and we're back at the Goodwill bins in Portland, Oregon. This baby quilt, what struck me is how many times that is tied. I tie, qu quilt my baby quilts very densely, but I've never seen one tied that densely. I do not know what that plastic hamburger is, but it was interesting, and I, I don't use oven mitts, but if I did, I would have an oven mitt with teeth because that's just how we are. The boys and I had an errand to run up in Portland, so we made a little extra time to stop and dig through the bins. I swear I've spent more time at the bins over the past couple of months than I have over the past couple of years. There were lots of dolls on this trip, and I they have the tags, so they must have cleared off the shelf in one of the stores. I'm not going to buy dolls, but I always stop and look at them. I don't know why. Mostly so we can make fun of the ones with super creepy faces. Look through the pictures, but there wasn't much there. For the most part, when I'm looking through the bins, I don't know what I am looking for. I will know it when I see it, and that is looks like vintage corning wear, which I did not even notice when I was in the store. A Barbie bathtub, I'm guessing that's Monster High. Dang, I wish that had been around when I was a kid. That would have been my favorite thing ever. Niagara Falls coffee mug shaped like a barrel. Kind of regret not buying that. And a vintage Clue game. I did bring that home with us, and I haven't gone through it yet to see if it has all the pieces. But at the very least, it has the board and the weapons and Hopefully most or all of the cards, if it has everything, will play it. If not, I will upcycle it into something fun. It is just always such a interesting mishmash of stuff. There's a Santa coat, but I'm, I'm pretty sure my daughter has one already. So in the unlikely event that we ever need a red plush Santa coat, I know who to borrow one from. Collection honestly wasn't that great on this trip, but that also could have been my mood on that day. I was stressed and in a hurry and not really in the full spirit of adventuring and digging through the bins. And I've got to be honest with you, the boys are great in the regular thrift shops. I think the bins overwhelm them. I do better at the bins with their sister. She finds the most amazing things. Absolutely, hands down, the weirdest shirt we found of the day was this Bug Be Gone Home Defense Ortho. It had like a real manufacturer label in it, so I don't know if this was meant for consumers. There was a lady watching me as I took pictures of it, and I think that she snapped it up as soon as I walked away. She asked if I was going to buy it, and I did tell her I was just taking pictures. This is a wheelie bug bumblebee and it was absolutely adorable and if I had a small child I think I would have snapped that up in an instant. I looked it up when we got home and those things are expensive. It does look in the picture like it might be missing a wheel though so maybe that's how it wound up there. Really cute homemade vintage Christmas stocking. On another day I might have brought that home. This has me curious, are jumper cables something that it's safe to buy secondhand in the thrift store? I have a set, so I'm not looking for jumper cables. Every car we own has them. But I wonder if you would buy them at a thrift store. I could see buying them at an estate sale. And here is a sparkly little mermaid. I think she still had her tags from the store on. And right beside her was her friend. I think we stumbled into someone's mermaid collection that they had given up on. Because very close together, I found all three of these. And a Making Things Happen planner that had... This particular planner did not make things happen. I hope that whoever bought it bought another planner that she loved better and she maybe made things happen with them or maybe she would just decided that she did better keeping things in her head because honestly I waver between my planner and winging it and 
For many years, I winged it, and it worked. Not everybody needs a planner. And I'm spending way too much time thinking about a planner that I found at Goodwill. There's a Tupperware cake carrier, and I... That must have been something at the time because I picked it up, but from this video, I cannot tell you what that is. It's a thing. The Goodwill bins are full of all of the random things. This was a handwritten letter, I believe, to Grandma. I did not take the time to read it because it, whatever is in there is none of my business. It was just the most gorgeous handwriting, and sometimes I wonder... How does this stuff get into the Goodwill bins? I found someone's power of attorney on one trip. Look through your things before you donate them to Goodwill, maybe? Have you found anything at the thrift store that absolutely should not have been there? A couple of years ago, I found a school journal that had someone's entire school record, their report cards, their teachers, just... Someone had taken the time to very carefully keep a memory album with all of the class papers and all of the things. And then it wound up in the thrift store, and it wasn't very long after the person had graduated. If it was 50 years old or older, it would have been a wonderful piece of firma, but the way that it was, it just kind of spooked me, it seemed like exactly what identity thieves are looking for, although I doubt it identity thieves cruise the thrift stores. In addition to the clue game and some miscellaneous shirts and pieces of clothing, I picked up this bag full of thimbles. They're from different states and landmarks. And for 89 cents, I don't collect thimbles, but apparently I picked up a collection dirt cheap, and this is one of the things I love the most about the Goodwill bins, is that you don't know what you will find there. Lots of times it's something that you didn't know you needed and were particularly looking for. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Michelle with Michelle's Romantic Tangle, and I'll be back with you again soon with more thrifting and crafting videos.